Hello friends, this video on principles of inheritance part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Some of the contrasting traits of the pea plant, just now I was telling right, that the pea plant has many different traits which vary in different types of pea plant. So some of them were the round seed, wrinkled seed. So this shape of the seed, in some plants it is round, in some plants it is wrinkled. The color of the seed also. So in some plants it is yellow, whereas in some other plants it is green. Height of the plant, some plants are too tall while others are too short. Color of the flowers, some plants it is violet while in others it is white. The pod, this is how the pod looks like, right? Inside the pod you have the seeds. So the shape of the pod in some plants it was like inflated, that it was smooth on the boundaries. Whereas in some plants they had curved boundary, that is the constricted pod. Somewhere the pod was green in color, where in some the pod is yellow in color. So these were some of the contrasting traits. So now you understand why, how it, if this is going to help. So now while experimenting, he can, you know, just to check that uh, his experiments are going in the right direction or not, he can make use of these contrasting traits. He can cross round seed with wrinkled seed to see what happens, what is the output. So then he can perform the same experiment using some other trait like the color of the flower and he can then you can see what is the output and if the outputs are in uh, on the same lines with each other or not. So these were some of the contrasting traits of the pea plant which Mendel used for his experimentation. Now let us see how self-pollination and cross-pollination was done in a pea plant. Now as I mentioned before also that Mendel made sure that the plants were pure bred. So what is the meaning of pure bread? That means the plants have been self-pollinated multiple number of times just to check that the plants do not possess any other hidden trait. For example, if he wanted a tall plant, he made sure that the plants were all, they all, the, the both the alleles in those plants are going to be the tall. You remember I spoke about two alleles, one from maternal, one from paternal. So when you say purebred, it has it, it should not have any hidden short trait in them. So for that purpose, he allowed the plants to self-pollinate for many generations. After that, he performed cross-pollination between the various contrasting traits. So self-pollination was done before so that uh, pure breeds for each of the traits could be obtained. Now, how was self-pollination done? This was quite easy with pea plant because the petals enclose the male and the female reproductive organs till fertilization. So where is the male and the female reproductive organ? So if you look at this picture, you can actually see these are the petals, right? The colored structures, here it is purple colored. So they are the petals. So inside them, this is the male, these are the male reproductive structure that is the stamens. And this is the yellow colored structure which you see that is the female reproductive structure that is carpel or pistil, whatever you call it. So here you can see that the stigma and the anthers are very close. So these are the anthers and this is the stigma. So the stigma and the anther are quite close to each other. Therefore, fertilization occurred inside within the petals. So self-pollination was quite easy here. Now, as a result of fertilization, seeds were produced and the, those seeds were again planted to generate the next generation. So now again, when the next generation was formed, again, the self-pollination happened inside the petals and then this process kept on continuing. So this continual process helped Mendel to uh, generate or to self-pollinate plants for many generations. So this is how self-pollination was being done with pea plant. Now, cross-pollination. What happened in cross-pollination? Now, once yeah, he self-pollinated plants with different contrasting characters, now he wanted to cross-pollinate two plants with contrasting traits. For example, he wanted to pollinate a tall plant with a short plant or he wanted to pollinate a plant with round seed with a plant with wrinkled seed. So, that is, so in that case, the cross-pollination was required. And how was he doing that? For that, First of all, he used to do emasculation, that is removal of anthers. Now, in case of pea plant, each flower will have both the male reproductive part and the female reproductive part. Now, if both of them are allowed to stay in the same flower, then self-pollination will happen because they are all enclosed within the petals and they are quite close to each other. So, what was done was the anthers were cut from the plant. So the anthers were removed and this process is known as emasculation that is removal of the male reproductive part of the plant. Now once the anthers were removed after that 
the stigma was covered with a bag to prevent contamination. Now, stigma is the female part. Why was it covered with a bag? So that no other outside um, anthers can actually come and then pollinate with the plant. So that no other pollen grains can actually contaminate the stigma. So prevent to prevent it from contamination, it was covered with a bag and that this technique is known as the bagging technique. So that was done. And after that, cross-pollination was done with the desired pollen grains. So now here if you see the anthers were removed, so the e plant was emasculated. Now let us suppose this is another plant which with white flower. So it is a different plant altogether. And I want to crossbreed a plant with violet flower with a plant with white flower. So how will I crossbreed? I will take pollen grains from this plant, this plant and I will put those pollen grains to this stigma. So now when I dust the pollen grains of this plant on the stigma of this plant, basically what is happening? Cross pollination is happening between these two plants. Now once the, uh, I have dusted the desired pollen grains, then what happens? Pollination has taken place, then fertilization will happen and as a result seeds will be produced and these seeds will give rise to new plant. Right? So by this process I actually crossed a plant with white flower with a plant with purple flower and this is how the actual process of cross pollination took place with the three plant. This is how um, Mendel self pollinated and cross pollinated the three plants. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.